Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Trini Flavor with yours truly, Chef Trouble. Today we're doing on the menu, quick fry bake recipe, right? A quick fry bake flaky recipe for you in a really quick video. Guys, if you can try this fry bake recipe, it's amazing. It's flaky, it's fluffy, it's puffy, it's nice, right? So you see that on that bake look there, you can take a look, it, it's real good guys. So we're going to do that video for you. Mix some mix in the flour. So fry in a couple of the bits. So here I go. So stay tuned. Let's go and bubble up. Right. So this is for the fry bake recipe now. Right. We have six cups of flour. Two teaspoons of sugar, no all brown sugar. One, two level teaspoon um, of baking powder. Alright, we're going to get this a little quick dry mix. Now, guys, remember to be using the prize bread and pastry margarine. Is he cook? Is he lard? Right? So that's what we're using for the fry bake. This one helps you with the soft and crispy, soft and flavor, flaky, sorry, flaky bake, right? So we let us dry mix a little bit first. Then we'll add in a melty cookie in the microwave in a small bowl three time. You could mash it up in little pieces if you want. Right? You could do it in little pieces if you want and mash it up in the flour. But let us melt it in the butter. It's a little hard for the fridge, right? Right? So we're adding in cooking now, it's two tablespoons of cooking, melted, and put that to dry mix again a little bit with the cooking. Alright, I'm adding a half pack of yeast. That is yeast will really help this bake come out fluffy, puffy. Nice. Alright, so we're going for the yeast. Remember, the yeast is half pack we use. One pack of yeast is one tablespoon of yeast. So, you come like we use half tablespoon of yeast here. We put in a level, level teaspoon of sugar. Sugar helps activate yeast, right? And then we we'll dilute it here. It's a warm water. And then we we'll add it in with the rest of water to knead the flour. Alright, we have some warm water here for the kettle. So activate the easy sugar, help activate the yeast, right? Make sure this mix good, so the yeast will get to work, right? Just stir it up a little. Keep stir it for about, you know, like about, uh, about 30 seconds. Make sure it activates good, and then we'll add it in the flour. Alright, so we're going to start here now. We're adding the yeast and the sugar. Some more with the potato water after. There's some of that warm water from the kettle sardine as well. The warm water helps soak the flour really faster, the dough. So it's less rested than right. So it's going to be nice now. Everything pulling in together. Something about this flour mixer. When the flour don't need, it has come out like a velvet filling. It has needed really smooth. Nice texture. Right. So that's it there for the flour. Let's go pull it in now. Right? Pull it in and that's it there. Right, so we be laying out one there. This is the last step that we're doing. 
right? Add it in there now. So this is how I fry my baby technique. I just move it left to right a little bit. Left to front, right, front to back, anyhow. This is the Naria cooking on and we mix up with ice white frothing, so right? Get a hot oil over it. And it'll start to swell it immediately. Right, see? Left to right, front to back. And so you get a pillow top beak, right? So this is the frying, you can show you the final product of it. I'll give you one more fish here. Left to right or front to back. You just want a hot oil to go over it. I'll then throw some of the hot oil on top of it now. And you'll get a perfect pillow with top beak. So you do what to get a side brown. That's the procedure. This is the final product. Nice flaky bake. So flaky it is. On point guys. Right, so this is the final product for the bake. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Share to your friends and family. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Right, until next edition, actually, flavor.